gentlemen, the groom's permission to remove jackets. Yes. And ladies, you have the bride's permission to kick off your shoes. Oh my <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the time is now upon us that you've all been looking forward to, but three particular people have been dreading. <laughs> it is, of course, the speeches. We couldn't possibly have the, the top table guests uh, drinking from the same bottle as well, the ordinary people. So uh, I'm going to introduce you to the ancient noble art of the sabrage. Now, this dates back to the Napoleonic era, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you'd have French cavalry officers who were riding into battle. They didn't have time to stop and open their bottles of champagne in the traditional fashion. They had to chop the top off with their sabres. On the count of three, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. One, and two, and three. Hey. 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 I should point out, ladies and gentlemen, Thanks to the explosive release of the bubbles, it's perfectly safe to drink. But if it's not, that's why I'm getting Nigel to pour it and his fingerprints are on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to give me immense pleasure now to call upon our first speaker, the father of the bride. Try and follow that. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to hand you over to your bridegroom, the Dark Knight, <laughs> Mr. Ricky Dolan! Yeah. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, I should point out I was offered 20 of the Queen's English pounds to do that speech for him. And he was fine. Was he or was he not? On the back, we'd like you all just to write your names and maybe a little message of congratulation for the bride and bridegroom and then that's going to be an additional keepsake for the day. It'll be just outside the main door here on the right. Please find the time to do that. Preferably while you're still sober enough to write legibly, that'd be lovely. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you know, this brings us to the close of the formal portion of the day. And when I raise my arms, I want you to raise the roof for Mr. and Mrs. Dolan! Did <laughs> you a very good evening and welcome back. Can I ask you now, please, to make your way to this end of the room? and bring your cameras with you because it is time now for the bride and bridegroom to cut their wedding cake. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you please now to bear witness to the momentous occasion of the first and last time that Ricky will ever have the upper hand. In your own time. Three cheers please for the bride and bridegroom. Hip hip! Hooray! 